Hey guys, this is Ada coming in with a prophetic word. Okay. This morning, guys, as I was sitting and having fellowship with the Lord, I got a word this morning and it was kind of disturbing, guys. But it was talking about the people with a prophetic anointing or prophetic call. How many of you have had to leave your town or leave the place of your 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 hometown because Jesus said a prophet is not respected in his hometown and Jesus couldn't do many miracles there because they couldn't they couldn't receive from him because they were just thinking oh that's just old carpenter's son they just really could not accept that he was the son of God and so a lot of times when you have a prophetic anointing you know um a lot of times you're not going to be accepted in your, the place that you were born and raised because people are familiar with you. They can't see you outside of what they're familiar with. So a lot of time they can't receive from you. So with that being said, guys, this is such a hard word. This is a hard word. You received a lot of persecution. Many of you were talked about. Many of you were called crazy, you know, because God kept you to yourself. He kept you uh, in your own little bubble. But during this time, he was anointing you. He was anointing you for that ministry. Maybe it was a healing ministry. Maybe it was a um, a giving ministry. Whatever God anointed you to do, it was to bless, you know, those people who could receive. But unfortunately, they could not receive from you because they said, oh, that's just um, that's just Ada, you know, she came up and, um, you know, she came from nothing or they, you know, just a lot of negativity. They could not see you for who you are now. So with that being said, guys, judgment is coming to many of these places because God sent these people for a specific reason. But when he removed that prophet from that area, a lot of time the enemy will come in. And the enemy will come in to those who open the door to him. Maybe they spoke negatively against you. You know, maybe they said a lot of stuff that was inappropriate. Because sometimes we don't have to say anything, guys. So what I'm hearing in my spirit, there's a spirit of judgment. And you can read Ezekiel 37 to confirm this word if you need to about the angel going through the land and if they don't have the mark on them it's a destroying angel and guys this is such a hard word but it have to be we have to be truthful but for those who are repentant uh god will turn he will turn turn it away from them just like when you we apply the blood of jesus and we repent wholeheartedly you know that judgment will turn because now people don't understand that there is new testament uh, judgment. Look at Ananias and Sapphira. When they lied against the Holy Ghost, they would judge people. So let's not let's not say that it's not real because it is. When the Holy Ghost or the Lord sends someone to he to what do uh, do whatever their ministry is, what he anointed that person to do. If you don't understand it, don't speak against it. If you don't understand it, don't speak against it, okay? Uh, and I'm asking the Lord to help me be more sensitive. And if I spoke against anybody that the Lord sent ignorantly, I just repent. I repent wholeheartedly because that door remains open to the enemy. It ain't the Lord, but it's the enemy. Because just like God said on his word to perform it, the enemy sits on those negative words to perform them. So that's why it's good to have people praying for us. It's good to have, you know, pastors praying. It's good to have apostles, apostles praying for us. It's good because, guys, we're in a spiritual war. This is a spiritual battle. It's not flesh and blood. It's a spiritual battle. And we have to put on the whole armor of God. So a lot of these people have spoken negatively. You know, and the very thing that they are in need, need now, which may be healing in their body, but because they spoke against you, they can't receive. And their heart is hard. And they want to do it in the strength of their own flesh. They don't want to turn. They don't want to repent. 
And um, even the Apostle Paul say that some people are falling asleep prematurely because they're not discerning the Lord's body. Some people think that's just a communion. But when you discern the Lord's body, you discern who's in the body, what he put them there for. One may have gifts of healing. One may have another uh, gifts of help. But we have to discern the Lord's body because we're in a we're in the body of Christ. So with that being said, guys, um, just prepare for those who have been ran out of these towns. And when I say ran out, they may not literally ran you out, but with the negativity and the negative energy, you felt that it was necessary to leave. So with that being said, guys, if you've spoken ignorantly against somebody that God was using, just repent. Lord, forgive me in my ignorance. So we are all are ignorant at times. And if you're one of those ones that were ran out, you know, pray for them. Pray, pray for your enemy. Bless those who persecute you. Because even when Job prayed for his enemy, that you know, he got healed. The Lord's wrath turned and he got healed. And even though he, he wasn't sick because the Lord put it on. That was the enemy. Just like the enemy get people to speak ill of these different people, you know. Um, these different uh, uh, pastors, prophets, prophets mostly, because most most prophets are really persecuted guys. But just like the enemy, you will use people so he can turn on them because that's just an open door. Your mouth is an open door. So let's be mindful, guys. And those of you who are chosen ones or prophets has been persecuted just pray for them well whatever place you left just pray for them pray for them pray for god's mercy pray for god's grace don't let the enemy come in and just be destructive so with that being said um guys let's uh just pray for them and if this video has been helpful for your spiritual enrichment give it a thumbs up if you think it'll help someone else please share it Thank you for watching.